Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk specifically about how to create a geo filter using the Snapchat website. It's super easy and I'm going to show you how to do this in under five minutes. So you want to start off by being on the snapchat.com website and being under the geo filter section. Today I'm going to be creating a birthday geo filter, super easy to do just by using their custom designs. All right, so let's go ahead and click submit now. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the design online. These are predefined and designed templates that you can easily pick directly from the Snapchat website. I do have a separate video if you want to check that out in how to create a custom design using PicMonkey. If you want to see that video, that video is linked in the description below. So today I'm going to focus on creating a birthday geo filter using their predefined template. So I'm going to click birthdays. And of course it gives you several different options. You can also start from a blank slate, but today I'm just gonna keep my life super simple and create a geo filter using one of their templates. So with that said, I'm gonna click on this filter right here. What it automatically does is it gives you kind of the, the filter that's already been pre-designed, but it also gives you the flexibility to also update the text. So what you wanna do, some similar to any other platform where you're needing to edit text, you wanna go ahead and click on the text. I'm gonna put happy birthday, Sheena. And I know she's turning 12, so happy 12th birthday, Sheena. I'm gonna click done. It automatically, automatically puts the text right back to where it originally was pre-set at. So in this case, I don't want this location to be kind of the final place for um, this, this little banner. So what I can do here is actually change up the, the font. So I'm gonna make something that sticks out a little bit more. I also wanna change up the color to be more of a purple, purplish blue. Let's see if I can get that to happen. Last but not least, I wanna go ahead and move this font to the bottom. So super easy. Well, right now it wants to spin around. So let me do this. Here you go. Now I'm trying to straighten out this font right here. Perfect. And I also wanna stretch it out so it sticks out in the geo filter. Bam. Perfect. I could be here all day trying to figure out how to make this straight. Okay. Hopefully that's straight. Shoot. I wanna do it like that, just for it to stick out. Okay, so now that I got my geo filter the way I want, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. This step is really just focused on the date that you want the geo filter to go live. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and select November 4th. I'm gonna select 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So I want this live for three hours during the party on the 4th. Click next. Last but not least, I wanna fence around the location of where the birthday will be. So let's just assume that I'm gonna have it at the Lion Habitat Ranch. I'm gonna draw a fence. So I'm gonna start off by placing my cursor with a starting point and basically create a square of some sort. Fair enough. So let's just assume that I'm having it at the Lion Habitat Ranch. I want this much of the perimeter covered so the geo filter will work. It's gonna cost me $22.90 for three hours. I'm gonna click next. Last but not least is really just updating your contact information, putting a geo filter name. So I'll put Sheena, 
birthday. It's a personal geo filter. Enter in your payment information and then read the privacy policy and acknowledge the geo filter and hit the submit button. And once you hit that submit button, the process will go through an approval process. But in this case, since it's just a design that you've already pre-selected via Snapchat, the approval process does happen really quickly. Um, for the custom designs, it takes a little bit for them to review and approve, but it should take, I would say, no more than an hour before you hear back from the Snapchat um, company on the approval of your geofilter. So with that said, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions about geo filters, leave those in the comments below. If you have any other ideas or suggestions on how to use geo filters, leave that as well. Otherwise, if this video was helpful for you, hitting that like button is greatly appreciated. If not, this wraps everything up and we'll just catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.